Hey, welcome to Monarch Academy. Today we're going to talk about holding a Socratic seminar and what you can do to elevate your academic discourse. I'm going to share my screen and talk with you about the resources that we have. All ready for you. Okay, if you go to our Google Classroom, welcome if it's your first time. You can go here for educators and you can access the unit materials. They're all in one place and you're going to see them labeled for Socratic seminar. Or you can go to your classwork and here we go. There's the tab for your materials for your Socratic seminar. It's, this video is going to be placed right here when we're finished. So let's go ahead and click on the materials that we have for you. When you're reading, a novel from Monarch. You can have a Socratic right with that novel. It is so packed full <laughs> of standards that when you're reading, you're going to have it all there at your fingertips. But I don't want you to forget about your text sets because if you have a Socratic seminar and you take your novel and you take one of your companion text sets, this will allow you to talk about connections and it will allow you to bring in multiple perspectives. So I do value a Socratic seminar that has a variety of text for a student to be able to choose from and to be able to lead your own question. So Socratic seminars can be built in many different ways. You can go online and you can see the fishbowl. I like to do the tag team because, yes, that's just something that I can think of like as a metaphor, like you're coming in and you're tagging and then you have someone else to come into the place and to be able to build and talk back and forth. So this tag team approach for Socratic seminar can actually be done with two people, <laughs> a teacher and a student. Or you can tag team and have a triple tag team where you're coming into the match and you're coming in for different rounds. Or if you have a larger class, then you can create a document where you can sign up in the order that you would like to go and which question you would like to lead. Now, when I say question, a Socratic seminar does not necessarily mean one question. However, for time's sake, if you would just like to have a discussion, you can use these same resources and you can just have a daily discussion and you could pick one a day to be able to build in that speaking and listening strand along with your textual evidence and all of the other standards that you're going to be addressing when you do a discussion like this with Socratic seminar. But you can also choose multiple leadership questions. And I call them leadership questions because you need to take ownership and responsibility of the question that you choose, which means you should also have a variety of questions. So let's look at some of the different types of questions. I want to start with the standards questions first. I really love these. You can see that I've built these for grades 9, 10 band. But remember, if you've looked at the video that shows the different standards across the ELA 6 through 12, the standards are pretty much the same. They just have a little bit of nuances and some new vocabulary put in, maybe reworded a little differently from 6 to 12. But you can come in and adapt this for your grade level. So for 910, for example, if you want to really focus in on standard one, objective one, how does textual evidence strongly support the claim the author is trying to make in this text? That means that you are strictly looking at textual evidence and you're trying to take claim that they're making and trying to prove that with textual evidence. What motivations are they? Think about your prompts that you could put. Character motivations. Why are they making these choices? How does this advance the plot? How does this support the theme development or the emerging, developing, or refining themes. So you can think about these question stems as a way to start a discussion that is academic in nature. It is formal. It is filled with language that is academic. It is not my opinion, I think, I believe statements. The 
purpose of the Socratic seminar is to be able to base things on textual evidence, textual understandings, and then you can also tie in other connections. And then if you do want to add in personal statements, just make sure that you're switching from formal to informal language and you are understanding the difference within those. And then you can use sentence stems and frames to help you talk about your beliefs and opinions and ideas. All right, so this is a document that you can use that has the standards. Now I want to move over to some seminar question stems. Trust me when I say that this is all the document you really need, because if you pull this one up, you will be able to see the different types of questions that you would be able to pull from and then have a place for you to add your own questions as you move through the units. Because this document is meant for your favorite Monarch books every single time we have a Monarch book. So you would be able to use this document as your springboard into discussions and Socratic seminars. It is very important that you have a place where you can reflect and you can self-assess how you feel that you did on your discussion or Socratic seminar. I've left a place here for notes. I've given you a point system. You can definitely take those points off. Um, just giving you some things to think about. You can have a self-assessment. Then your teacher can come in and assess. You can have a deduction. And these are pretty much just tips of what not to do. <laughs> Don't be irrelevant. Don't derail. Don't make distracting statements. Don't take over the conversation. Understand when it's the time to speak and understand when it is the time to listen. That is an art of rhetoric. And you can practice this skill. This is a skill, being able to share and discuss and collaborate on ideas. So set a goal for your Socratic before you go into your Socratic seminar or your discussion. Maybe today you would like to work on using a sentence frame to help kickstart you into a formal conversation. Or maybe after you come back and you say, well, I learned that I felt really forced when I was using the sentence frame and it wasn't helpful for me. However, I did like that I had a variety of ones I could choose from and I'm starting to get more comfortable with the language of Socratic seminar. So make sure that when you are setting your goals, you're reflecting on those goals. And then how can you improve moving forward? This definitely is for narrative. The note section is for narrative for you. So I hope that this has been helpful to you. I'm really excited about hearing all about your Socratic seminars and your class discussions. When you are moving forward with seminar, I want you to understand that it is very crucial for you to be respectful of others, to listen to others, then have textual evidence that supports your claims as well. Because this is an academic way to discuss text, the way that we analyze and view text, and then we bring it out to have a conversation with another person about their viewpoints and their ideas and to listen to their textual evidence to then gain a deeper perspective and appreciation of the text itself. All right, you guys have a blessed day.